Olgomix is a versatile, innovative custom product for genomics discoveries. We synthesize thousands of oligonucleotide sequences at once in massive parallel on a microarray chip and then cleave the oligos, releasing them into solution in a single microtube. Synthesis occurs via standard DMT chemistry, assuring efficient stepwise yield and high quality final product. The product is delivered as a pool in a single microtube, ready for use in your experiment. The maximum length of Olgomix synthesis is 120 nucleotides. We have two microarray chip sizes, a 4000 feature chip and a 30000 feature chip. For applications such as mutagenesis libraries, a much higher number of sequences may be desired. This can easily be accomplished with the use of designed degenerate nucleotides at specific positions within the sequences. See the Olgomix references for more information on this topic. Users need to be aware that the amount of each individual sequence is very small and the product is not in a purified form. As a result, the product may behave somewhat differently from a simple mixture of individually synthesized olgos. The yield from a 4K chip is typically in the range of tens of atomoles per sequence and sub-picomoles per tube. As with all standard oligonucleotide synthesis, the yield and quality of the final material will vary depending on the sequence length, sequence composition, sequence secondary structure, variation in synthesis regent lots and other factors. Weak quality control each olgomix by mismatch hybridization, QPCR and nanodrop before shipping. Because the synthesis scale is so small and the typical yield very low, we recommend without exception that the raw Olgamix product be amplified prior to use. We report the concentration of the amplifiable material in nanograms per microliter, which is fluorometrically measured using qubit. The quantity of the full-length sequences can be inferred from the quantity of amplifiable materials, which can then be directly used to determine how much starting materials are needed in your PCR reactions. We have some general use guidelines for primer design and amplification of Olgamix. However, as all applications are unique, these instructions are to be used as general guidelines only, not as specific protocols. Incorporate one set of common primers in all sequences and use PCR to amplify the product before use. An added benefit of the amplification is a purification effort since some of the failure sequences would not be amplified. We suggest using high TM or long primers so that high annealing temperatures can be used. In general, a high annealing temperature leads to high priming specificity. For PCR amplification, we recommend hot start enzymes. Fusion, Q5, PFU, Vant and Platinum TAC have been known to work. Regular TAC is not recommended. The specific polymerase used may be dependent on your specific application. Careful attention must be paid to the enzyme selected and several should be tested. The recommended amount of template starting material will vary based on individual users' different sequence lengths, primer designs, and polymerase systems. We therefore suggest a titration experiment using fractions of the received total volume as trial PCR templates. Run PCR reactions for a desired number of cycles, example 25, and measure PCR product quantities using either gel or bioanalyzer analysis. Then decide the right template amount by selecting the lowest possible amount as long as a sufficient product quantity is produced. If the multiple groups of sequences are going to be extracted from the product, use nested PCR to first amplify all sequences and then use the inner primer regions to amplify the individual groups. The ultimate strategy for primer removal will be dependent on your specific needs for the subsequent application of the Olgamix after cleavage. For example, blunt end versus sticky end. 
For general cloning use, you can remove the common primers after amplification by incorporating a restriction site within the common primer that is recognized by a type 2S restriction endonuclease. These enzymes will cleave at a site that is a specific short distance from the recognition site, leaving the entire variable section of sequence intact. After the restriction cut, the ALGO sequences should be ready for vector insert.